Hi guys, you're welcome to Medical Science Lecture Room. I am very delighted to have you here. Today, I'll be sharing with you on abortion, specifically the dangers of induced abortion. Just to inform you, I give medical tips or medical education to my extinct viewers. I also run classes for students of physics, chemistry, and math mathematics. Once again, my name is Dr. Godwin Obono. In case you're new to this channel, please hit the subscription button. Turn on your notification bell. Again, like this video, share it if you find value. Let's begin. Welcome back. Abortion can be defined as the expulsion or the extraction of the product of conception before the age of viability, or it is the loss of pregnancy or the termination of pregnancy before the age of viability. What do I mean by the age of viability? This is the age at which the growing baby or the growing fetus can survive outside the mother's womb. In other words, at this age, if that baby or that, that embryo is outside the body of the mother, that baby will survive at that age. However, that age differs from one country to another. Therefore, there is no universal consensus as to the age of viability. In Nigeria, for instance, the age of viability is 28 weeks. In the United States of America, it is 20 to 20, 22 weeks. And in the UK, it is about 24 weeks. Therefore, in Nigeria, if I have to define abortion, I would say it is a termination of pregnancy before 28 weeks. If you are in the UK, it would have been the termination of pregnancy before 24 weeks. And if you are in the US, it would have been the termination of pregnancy before 20 weeks. Now, what are the divisions of what abortion? Abortion can be divided into spontaneous abortion and induced abortion. The spontaneous abortion is the one that is that occurs by its own. It's a natural, it occurs by natural means. There is no medical intervention. There is a different, a separate video or lecture on spontaneous abortion. But today I will focus on what induced abortion. What is induced abortion? Induced abortion is a type of abortion that is done by artificial means resulting in what termination of pregnancy. Or if I, miss, I want to put it this way, it is a loss of pregnancy by an artificial means. Induced abortion can be divided further into two. We have the one we call therapeutic abortion. Therapeutic abortion can also be called safe abortion. It can also be called legal abortion. That means there is a legal, a legal component of what abortion. So when we divide our uh, induced abortion, it can be divided into two. The first division is therapeutic abortion. If you don't call it a therapeutic abortion, it can be called legal abortion. If you don't call legal abortion, it can be called safe abortion. From those words, from those terms, you can get the meaning. For it to be safe abortion, it means that the life of the woman is not at risk. For that reason, that type of abortion must be performed by somebody who has the necessary skills. And it must equally be performed in an environment that has the minimal medical standard. That kind of abortion is said to be safe. And it is also said to be legal. And it is also said to be more therapeutic. Why is it therapeutic? Because it is the abortion that can only and only be done to save the life of God, the mother. There could be a situation or a, a situation or condition where the life of the woman, the mother, is at risk. And so what they would do, what the doctor does, or what the health professional does, is to expel or abort the growing fetus or the baby in order to, to, for the woman to survive. 
that kind of abortion is done in the hospital setting and it must be done with a medical practitioner or a health practitioner that hasn't required uh, uh, necessary skills. For that reason, it is said to be what? Legal. And it is said to be what? Therapeutic. And it is said to be what? Safe. But the second group of abortion, induced abortion, I told you there are two divisions. The second division is the unsafe abortion or the illegal abortion. It is illegal because the law forbids it. Because the law disapproves it. For which anyone who is caught doing it will face the wrath of the law. And why is it unsafe? It is unsafe because this type of abortion is performed by someone that does not have the necessary, necessary skills. Or it could be performed by someone who has a necessary skill, but the person may perform it in an unhygienic environment. In other words, in an environment that lacks the minimal medical standard. When that happens, that abortion is said to be what? Unsafe. And is said to be what? Illegal. What are the ways that unsafe abortion is performed in our environment? Sometimes the unsafe abortion can be performed by the woman herself. Sometimes it can be performed by an untrained person. Or by, an, by a trained person but in an unhealthy environment. And if it is performed by the woman herself, in most cases the woman inserts substances into her private part. Things like wire, hunger, roots of plants. They are all insected. Sometimes some women use that to insect into their private part with a bee to abort their, their pregnancy. Sometimes if they don't do that, they can take in, ingest substances such as a high dose quinine, mesoprostol, they ingest those substances in order to abort what their baby or pregnancy. All of that is unsafe. And sometimes what they do is there could be evacuation that may be improperly done. So these are the possible ways the unsafe abortion is done. Of what consequence is this? And for what reason that it is forbidden by law? The reason is that this abortion comes with a lot of complication. Now you can have one complication could be incomplete abortion. The same abortion may not be complete. In an incomplete abortion, you still will have the product, product of conception in, remaining in the woman. That's what we call retained product of conception. That is to say every part of the baby has not come out. And such a woman will continue to bleed. And so you have what we call hemorrhage. That's another complication. Sometimes it comes with rupture, what we say, perforation. It comes with perforation. In attempt, in, in the bit of doing it, they can, you can perforate the bladder. The blood vessels can also be perforated. The, 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 the uterus can be ruptured. And sometimes this go, goes on like that to some of these women die at the end. The complication of induced abortion requires emergency attention. Most women, when they go through this complication, they do not present themselves at the hospital because they knew it was not done. Sometimes they are afraid. Sometimes they, 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 want, they don't know what to tell the, the medical people because they know they shouldn't have done it because the law do not permit it. So, they, they will stay at home, they will try to manage this complication, at the end most of them die in the process. For which this has constituted 15% of maternal mortality rate. This is the death, the death, mortality rate of course is the death of mothers during pregnancy. It has been shown that Abortion, particularly induced abortion, has contributed 15% of maternal mortality rate. Therefore, it is not advisable, it is unwise, it's not good for we to engage in what induced what abortion. I know some persons have two school of thought. There are two opinions. Opinion. There are some persons who are pro-abortion, pro-abortionists. 
Those ones believe that abortion should be done because there, there is no need to bring to the world a child that will not be taken care of or a child that will come to suffer. Those persons who hold that opinion, who argue that, are called pro-abortionists. There are other group of people who equally do not, who are called pro-life, they are pro-life. These are people who believe that life should not be taken. My viewers, where do you belong? I think it's better to keep life. It's better to, to, to maintain life. It's better not to take life. Besides the risks associated with it, but it is good to keep life. At this point, I want to believe you have understanding of what this topic is. In case you have any question, in case you have any comment, please drop it at the comment section. Again, do not fail to subscribe to this channel. Like the video and share it. Thank you.